Hello, and my name is Danny, and I'm a PV installer here at Consumer Energy Solutions. I'm here today to talk to you about troubleshooting any potential problems you might have with your solar PV installation. Let's check the wiring for any loose connections, any damage or any corrosion. If you find any corrosion or any damage, please contact Consumer Energy Solutions for the necessary repairs. Check the inverter display for any error codes or messages that may be stored on the system. Once identified any errors or, or messages that are stored on the inverter, please refer to the operation manual for any troubleshooting steps. Let's talk about resetting the system. You will have an AC isolator at the consumer unit, an AC isolator at the inverter, and a DC isolator built into the inverter. At the isolator at the consumer unit, we need to move it to the off position. At the isolator at the inverter, we need to move that to the off position. And at the DC isolator underneath the inverter, we need to move that to the off position. In some installations, a second isolator is installed near the inverter. What we need you to do then is wait five minutes for that system to completely shut down. Now to turn the system back on, we need to turn the DC isolator back on first, the AC isolator next to the inverter, and then the AC isolator next to the consumer unit. And we need to wait approximately one minute for the system to fire back up and all error codes should have cleared. If these problems or error codes persist, please contact Consumer Energy Solutions for any technical assistance. So it's important to check your generation meter regularly. What I wanted to do is show you where to find it, what it looks like, and how to identify any potential problems. So when checking our generation meter, and we identified that there's a solid red light, this is the first stage of identifying there could potentially be an issue with our solar installation. When the red light is off and it's blinking, this is showing normal operation of your solar system. As you can see, the solar PV circuit is always clearly identified. And as you can see, it is in the off position at the moment. So all I would like you to do is turn on the protective device and as you can see, the generation meter is going to come on and it's going to be solid red and it should start flicking again. After we have done this and the red light on the generation meter continues to be solid red, please contact Consumer Energy Solutions for any technical support.